Are you gonna pop in the uh, YouTube or you're gonna watch from Discord? I think we are live here. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful day. Goodness. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section there. I'd love to hear from you guys. How many, how many of you are tired of the grinder talks, okay? What kind of grinders? What kind of birds? Uh, yeah, let me know because I am getting really tired of talking about grinders lately, all right? But it feels like it never ends, okay? It feels, feels like that never ends here. So uh, let's talk about grinders again, okay? So I just brewed this morning uh, filter coffee pour over, uh, one with DF64V, uh, DF64V with uh, MP burrs, uh, SSP MP burrs. And we have a niche grinder, zero. And also we have a fellow O Gen 2. Okay. And so, not, I mean, if you guys are into market for a new grinder, you know, this, today, next week, next month, I mean, not only you have to worry about what kind of grinder you want to buy, and also what kind of burrs you like to have on your grinder, because it's, this is a big investment. Okay, this is a huge investment. I mean, average grinder nowadays is around five hundred dollars. And we are talking about you know good entry level coffee grinder that do uh, espresso and filter coffee. I mean, if you are looking for like filter only or espresso only grinder. I mean, it's going to be slightly, you know, cheaper as well. But if you are looking for multi-purpose grinder, you know, I mean, willing to spend about anywhere between, let's say, three hundred all the way up to two, three thousand dollars. I know we do have some entry level, like Fellow Opus, uh, just under two hundred dollars there. I mean, Fellow Opus does espresso and filter coffee. You know, does pretty well. Okay, and also we have like, uh, let's see here. Tur uh, uh, Turin comes up with like SD40 or SK40, 40 millimeter conical burst does handle that as well, around $200 range, below $200. So we do have some entry level. But if you are thinking about, you know, taking on coffee as your hobby, obviously you want something a little nicer, okay? So now we have the mid-range coffee grinders. And uh, if you want to spend some more money on it, again, the, the top end is the pretty much boundless. Okay, you could spend, you know, five, ten thousand dollars easy on coffee grinder. All depend on your uh, pocketbook there. So this morning, uh, I just brewed like three different, uh, um, same coffee. I'm just used the uh, uh, Costa Rica from Good Brothers Coffee there. Great tasting notes. Uh, raspberry, mandarin, and sugar. Okay. <clears throat> uh, MP burrs, uh, 60, uh, 64 millimeter MP burrs from SSP. We have a 63 millimeter conical from Niche. We have Fellow O Gen 2. So the Fellow just revised uh, their uh, 64 millimeter. So this kind of like Gen 2 burrs. Uh, so let's try, okay? It's been cooled down for a while. So because I want to, because every stage have a different tasting note. Okay, one coffee is hot, coffee is, you know, cold. So this is uh, like, you know, cool down for a while so I can really taste the cup. Here you go, cheers. So this is the old Gen 2. Okay. Pretty good. So this is the niche grinder. Okay. By the way, it's all great coffees, by the way. Okay, that's, uh, they make a uh, pretty good uh, tasting cup. Okay, so this is the MP burst. So it feels like the MP versus O Gen 2, very similar, very clean. Uh, the uh, very uh, the tasting notes are very precise. Let's put it that way. All right, and then you know, well balanced. Okay, very smooth. Uh, with a, a, a 63 millimeter conical from a niche grinder, the niche give you a little bit more fines. The way is a design, uh, give you a little bit more body to it, and also the acidic is um, more than old or gen two there. So uh, they are great coffee. Okay, 
So again, I mean, people ask me, Hun, what kind of grinder should I buy? What is the best money for the grinder? I mean, that is a very hard question, okay, to give you guys the right answers. Because, I mean, the all three grinders, comes to filter coffee, that's all capable. But here's what I can tell you, okay? If you are into only one style of coffee, okay, if you're just into espresso or just into uh, filter coffee, if the filter is easy, okay, filter is easy, uh, fella, oh, gen two, you're looking about 350 bucks. Okay, Ogento is really, the price is right, uh, looks pretty slick, small form factor. This one already built a anti-static device, devices already in there as well. So you don't have to do RDT either, okay? So if you're looking for just a filter coffee, filter coffee grinder, I do highly recommend Ogento, okay? By far, all right? It's been proven. Uh, fellow makes wonderful products so yeah if you're looking for just the filter coffee only all right out is where to go okay i think you're gonna like the birds as well so it's not like i mean i, I just brew with a uh, compare that with the uh, mp birds hey you know they're i mean they're pretty close okay pretty close so because out uh, M uh ssp mp birds you're looking about 180 bucks uh, is that worth upgrading? Uh, my personal opinion, uh, not really. Okay, not really. So, I mean, he does a great job. Okay, so I think if you are looking for just the filter coffee, uh, Oat Gen 2, okay, price is good, S stay with that. But if you want to do both, okay, if you want to do espresso and filter, Okay, so now you have to make some decisions. So at this case, so the old is not in picture, okay? So now you need to decide, you wanna go with the conical, you wanna go with the flat. Okay, so if you wanna go with the conical or flat, choice is yours, all right? If you are into conical burst, or, I mean, I, I mean I, options are pretty easy at that point. Because you only have one option. Eh, most likely one good option there. Yeah, I mean, uh, niche grinder. I mean, that's pretty much your option. So niche is zero, you are looking at, what, uh, around six or 700 bucks. So, I mean, you are take care of the conical burst side, uh, 63 millimeter, conical from Mazar. Yep, you are good, okay, you are set. Uh, comes to uh, filter coffee, so this is a coffee from Niche. It's fine, okay. Does fine job. So if you are into conical burrs, I mean the kind of like easy pick, okay. But comes to flat burr. All right, so now we're gonna have some fun with the flat burrs, okay. Not only we have to deal with what kind of coffee grinder and also what kind of burrs you need to go with. If you, again, if you have a lot of money, okay, try different grinders at home. If you have a money and space, that's not the issue, okay? But most of you are watching this, I know you guys are really curious, but if you have to spend your hard earned money and if you have about three, four hundred dollars, you know, your budget for your next grinder, you want to up your uh, coffee experience at home. That's a lot of money to invest on just a coffee grinder, okay? Something that grind your coffee for you. So now this is a uh, difficulty happens. So uh, by the way, uh, if you're first time joining us, welcome to live streaming, folks, okay? So this is place, you know, we can ha uh, hang out, share, uh, share our thoughts on our live chat as well. Uh, this morning, we have uh, Daniel's on, David. We have uh, someone from India. John's on as well. You got E Fox. The Leopold. Okay, hold on. Leopold asked me about the DF83. Uh, let's talk about that in a, in a little bit. I got Hip Hop Dan. Okay, and the Bruce. Actually, Bruce is going to join me on coming Monday. Okay, in person. All right. 
So we're going to do some live streaming with him on Monday with uh, Bruce. We're going to do some play with the lap pony as well. Okay. And Dave say, a good conical bird give you great coffee. Yeah, you would need to be expert to notice the difference between flat and conical. Uh, I mean, the, again, the flat and conical, you are going to tell, uh, especially like if you're drinking milk-based drink, how to tell the difference. But if you're drinking especially filtered coffee, even espresso, yeah, you are going to tell the difference in both. Uh, it's not one is better, okay? It's different. Okay, I think you need to understand it's not about something better. They're completely different uh, uh, cup quality. So, okay, let's see here. We got Nixon, John. John say, when I brew, pour over using niche and say coffee, I mean, so say is uh, say is known for uh, kind of like classic the wash coffee there, uh, very light roast, very clean. Mm -hmm. With the conical board, give you that you know a little bit, a little bit of uh, kind of like texture to it. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, they're they're different. I mean, if you are into like you know something dynamic tasting notes, I feel like the MP is a little flat for my taste. Okay. Flat means too clean. Okay, I want something a little bit more excitement in my cup. So, Mateo, the Duda SSP Lap Sweet. Okay, so Lap Sweet birds works for filter coffee. Uh, the Lap Sweet birds are fantastic. Okay, I mean they're great. Uh, I have a Caspers on my uh, one of my grinder. I mean it does makes really nice cup of coffee. So it's all depend on what you guys are looking for. Okay. Uh, Nick asked me, do you prefer over MPs? Uh, not, no, not really. I mean, I like the, yeah, I mean, I prefer the cast over MP. I think MP is too clean for my taste. All right. So kind of like all depends on what you guys like. Okay. So um, uh, multi-purpose bird said, the SSP, the naming is a uh, very little interesting because the high uniformity from SSP, HU, it's not high uniform. High uniform means uh, all, all the grind sizes are uniform. It's not, okay? MP birds are a lot more uniform than high uniformity birds. So you're gonna have more, a lot more cleaner cup from uh, MP than HU, okay? HU, because HU give you more, a little bit more body to it, okay? A little more, you know, texture as well. So uh, if you are into espresso, Something robust. I think uh, you're gonna uh, you're gonna like the uh, HU, but if you want something more cleaner, okay. And I think you go you are going to like the MP birds. So it's all depend on what you like. So before you guys are going to spend a lot of money on uh, birds, okay. Go to your friend's house. Hopefully they have some. You know, if your friends or someone you know has you know different bird sets. Try both, and then see for yourself. And also, it depends on what kind of coffee you're drinking either. So, uh, some coffee is really good, like wash, some wash coffee is really great, great on conical versus flat, vice versa. So, again, I mean, if you guys are really into that, uh, ideally get two, okay? One conical burr, a one flat, or get a one MP, maybe one HU burst. So you, you're gonna have some options. Uh, let's put it that way, okay? Let's see here, what else? I mean, that's why I know you guys ask me all the time, which one is better, okay? Uh, which grinder should I buy? I'd love to give you that, you know, direct answers, but I'd like to ask you, hey, what do you like? Okay, what kind of coffee you guys like? Okay, you like uh, uh, something, what, classic, something clean cup? Or you want something li a little, m I, I don't want to say muddy, but has more, uh, you know, body to it. You know, what do you, what do you prefer? Okay. Okay, Gene Park asks, would you prefer using conical versus flat based on roasters? Uh, light versus dark? I mean, goodness. I mean, the answer is, you know, I mean, it's going to be different. Okay, so whenever I use like wash coffee from say, 
I prefer something cleaner. But if I, uh, if I got a, some kind of fermentation process ones, like anaerobic process or natural process, and because I want something a little more to it, so I think I usually go for a little bit of conical as well. Conical or some kind of caspers, okay? So give you that more body to it. So it all depends on what you like. I mean, I, I'm, I am fortunate to have some few grinders you know, right behind me. So I get to play with different grinders. But, you know, I mean, mo most of you watching this video right now, I mean, you know, maybe you guys have maybe one grinder and they're looking to buy another one in the future. So, but there's a lot more grinders coming out, folks, okay? Not only we have uh, all the DF grinders, uh, we have a timer is coming up with their uh, Sculptor line, okay? Sculptor, we got Sculptor 64, 64S, we got 78 and 78S, okay? So that's the grinders alone. Okay, they got four different grinders coming out. And we have a niche is coming up with a, a flat burst, 83, okay, uh, 80, yeah, 83. Niche duo, okay, they give you 83 flat, uh, uh, one, one for espresso and one for filter. Okay, so we have that grinder alone. And plus, we got SSP is working on 83 millimeter uh, coffee grinder, uh, coffee birds as well, you know, more different types of birds. And let's not forget the DF83 right behind me. I mean, that's just this year, okay? We got the Zerno is coming out, the Zerno Z1, that's 64 millimeter uh, coffee grinder as well. So again, I mean, this is a, you know, this is great time, but at the same time, this is very tricky time, okay? tricky time to get yourself a new grinder because you have you have too many choices okay too many choices there okay hold on uh, Dave said I would like to have an additional grinder from a Eureka Minion just to compare for espresso yeah I mean goodness the Minion I, I mean let's not talk yeah let's talk about uh, Eureka Eureka has they have a lot of grinders in their website as well. So you got, don't forget the Eureka. We got Mazer. So, okay, all right. You got Dan say, already have suitable flat burr grinder. Any thoughts on Varia Conical grinder? The Varia, uh, Varia Conical, the, uh, the VS3, okay? I have it. Okay, I have on my, uh, my the other room as well. And I mean, that's kind of like the entry level uh, conical uh, burr grinder it's about 40 millimeter uh, conical okay I mean they are capable the price is right spot the one thing I don't like about the grinder okay their power core is they give you a laptop charger power core okay so I mean that's huge brick of the power core so I'm not a big fan of that all right and also they're a brand new company so comes to longevity I'm not quite sure about it so again I mean least timer or uh, timer is a huge company okay they're a big company so I mean they've been making coffee gears for a long time so um, so timer has the name recognition behind it and um, varia you know I mean kind of like see what happens there okay and because I love to see kind of like least you know least year on the market you know a couple years on the market that have some good track record, so. Uh, let's see here, what else? Uh, we have uh, Matteo. Okay. Okay, so we are, uh, let's see here. Uh, Dogman22, Varia just read about a user breaking two already this morning. Okay, so Dogman22. Yeah. So dog, sounds like Dogman22 is not a big fan of Varia. All right. Again, uh, I'm really looking forward to the the timer grinders coming out. Uh, goodness, they sold all thousands of them. Okay, they sold thousands and thousands of them. So, um, so that should be exciting grinder. So, can, uh, I think they got quite a few uh, reviews on YouTube as well. So make sure to check it out. Okay. 
But that's the thing about uh, buying something you haven't seen. The price is good. Uh, let's see, the timer, we are talking about what? 320 bucks. So, so a couple weeks ago, when they launched the Kickstarter, Kickstarter, $300. Now they raise up to 320 for 64 millimeter. That's still amazing price there, folks. Okay, yeah. You got James. Uh, James got the uh, uh, got the timer grinder as well. So, and they're excited to get my timer grinder, my first good electric grinder. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I hope so too, buddy. Uh, hopefully, it's gonna be works out for you. All right. Again, I mean, I love to check it out. You know, I'm, I would love to check out the the timer uh, sculptor because so much hyped behind the grinder. So yeah. Someday, okay, someday, I can show that with you on my live streaming. All right, so uh, it's been fun, folks. Okay, it's been a lot of fun talking to you guys this morning. Uh, I'll be back, okay, I'll be back in about a couple hours. Uh, today's Friday, so we're going to talk something fun. Juris, oh, uh, hold on. Juris, I received a picture this week. A very good clay. Hey, uh, Joris, did you get the uh, which bird did you get? Did you get the Brewers or did you get the espresso? Yeah, let me know in the comment section. So someone actually bought, uh, got, uh, got the Pitra grinder. I mean, so it sounds like he got the Lance's bird. So if you don't know who Lance uh, is, so Lance is uh, you know he's uh, he's a YouTuber, does a lot of review. I mean he's he does a pretty good job on reviews. Okay, I have to say. Uh, Joyce got the Brewers. Excellent. So that's the hand grinder using 58 millimeter, guys. 58 millimeter flat burr. Okay. Uh, the burr was designed by Lance. So, I mean, Lance loves filter coffee. Goodness. Very good clarity. So, clarity means what? Well, more like, you know, kind of like MP uh, burr style there. Clearly sweet. Hold on, and then we have a hemp. I'm breaking in the cast lap sweet for uh, man, that's nice. 64p. I'm breaking the cast lap sweet birds on my DF64p. I love them so far. Yeah, I mean, cast birds give you that clearly and the body as well. So, oh, that's good. Good to hear it. That's good. Okay, and the joystick, yeah. I mean, again, I mean, those hand grinders, especially for, not for espresso, for filter, uh, it does work uh, pretty well. Because I don't care how good your hand grinder is for espresso, that's, that's a lot of work, okay? That's a lot of work for one cup of coffee. But filter coffee is not a big deal. Uh, it takes you about, what, 15 seconds to grind, 15 grams, yeah. Very nice with the wash coffee is good, excellent. Yeah, I mean again the wash coffee, classic style, clean. Yeah, I think flapper is way, way to go there. Okay, so again, I mean, so it comes to filter coffee, you have to decide. Hey, uh, what kind of style of coffee do I like? I mean, I like the wash coffee, or you like something, you know, a processed coffee. Processed coffee means. Uh, you know, anaerobic process, supernatural process, you know, different processes out there. So it all depends on what kind of style you want. So ideally you want to get both, right? Okay. So one made for wash coffee, nice, you know, bring out nice clarity, which means somewhat boring. Okay. And they, if you want something, bring out the excitement. So they have a different birds for that too. Again, uh, now, you guys watching this, not only you have to think about the, what kind of grinder, and also you need to think about what kind of burrs you want to purchase. All right? Yeah. So, I mean, hopefully, uh, the, this uh, videos give you some, a little bit of light on, you know, I mean, what you might need to get, okay? The hemp. Sweet, uh, Sweet Maria has those uh, spicy, Spice, agreed, means now, okay. 
Joris mentioned high clarity UC defects with a heavy process coffee. Yep. I prefer the C40 for this, C40. So C40 is, uh, is that your uh, Commandante, C40? Uh, you know, we do talk, uh, you know what, we, uh, we should talk about some hand grinders uh, maybe next week. Man, yeah. We can talk about some hand grinders for uh, filter coffee. Because, I mean, that, it might be your answers, okay? If you are looking for a good filter or grinder, uh, start looking at some hand grinder, all right? It's a lot cheaper, okay? A lot cheaper than, you know, buying yourself electric grinder for filter. So, unless if you are doing filter coffee every single day, uh, it might be a different story. But, I mean, if you are doing every single day, I mean, obviously, Oh, the gentle is pretty good. Yeah. Okay, Dogman22 said, coffee grinder choices are not officially on par with number of Cheesecake Factory menu items there. Yeah, speaking of Cheesecake Factory, how many of you been to Cheesecake Factory? All right. They give you a book, okay? Their menus are incredible. They give you a book. So, okay. Okay, hold on a second. Jewelry said, picture grinder for me. Okay, uh, better for me for 80% of coffee. Okay, and then C40, uh, better with heavy process. Heavy process coffee. You know what? I'll let, I'll let, let's play with that next week. Uh, I got my C40 right behind me. Okay, yeah, I got C40s right up there. So let's play with some C40 with some other grinders. Okay, uh, let's do some comparison. So, I mean, Commandante is a classic grinder, but guess what, guys? Is they're pushing three hundred dollars for grinder. Three hundred dollars for hand grinder. So, um, if you have three hundred dollars to spend, goodness, uh, you have some options now. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday morning. I'll be back in about a couple hours. Uh, we're going to have some fun, okay? Let's have some fun today. Okay, see you next time.